Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial room sysadmin 102. First off, I want to say Happy New Year to all my viewers. If you are new to my channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share at the end of the video if you think the tutorial is helpful. And if you are my return viewer, thank you for your support. We wouldn't make it this far without you. And in today's video, I will show you how to install Ubuntu 22 ARM on Apple using an Apple virtualization on UTM. So Ubuntu doesn't have the ARM versions on the desktop environment. However, we can using the Ubuntu server and install the desktop uh, GUI later on. So that way we have a desktop environment. So who this tutorial would work for it? Uh, if you are a new Linux user and you just want to try it out or you just want to install Linux on your system, to uh, use certain applications or just web browsing, uh, they will be perfect for you. However, if you want to set up like a virtual lab, penetration testing lab, that wouldn't work for you uh, because Apple virtualizations, it lack of uh, advanced network settings. So that one of the downside using Apple virtualizations. In future video, I will release the one that using the native QEMU within uh, UTM that would give you the advanced network settings. So with that, let's get started. So uh, step one, you will need to download the Ubuntu server for ARM. Uh, by the way, all the link for the tutorial will be included in the descriptions. So you can select download and that take you over to Ubuntu. You can download the, the two versions for Ubuntu, the regular one, uh, 23.4.10 and the long-term support, which is uh, 22.0.4.3 the time of the this video so the choice is yours and let's move on to the step number two step number two you're gonna have to open up uh, UTM and create a new VM all right we're gonna select create a new virtual machine and this is gonna be a uh, virtualize and it's gonna be Linux and you're gonna select you Apple virtualizations and then you're gonna browse for the ISO image All right, and continue. And I'm going to keep everything as a default setting. However, you can twist this to whatever applicable and what your system capable of. And uh, share directory path. You can select it now or you can select it later on after post installations. All right. And, and if you want to change any setting, you can select uh, open a VM setting. Otherwise, you can uh, just save it. And we're gonna start the VM. All right, and we're gonna select try or install Ubuntu server and press enter and select your uh, language and press enter. And then we're gonna select uh, continue uh, without updating. And then I'm gonna confirm my selections. And we're gonna select the default option Ubuntu server and we're gonna select done. Select turn one more time. All right, and we select turn again. And then again, I can use the tab key to move it down to turn. And I'm gonna keep everything as a default setting. And done. And then we're gonna use the arrow down key to select continue. All right, and here we're gonna put in our name. And once you've done that, use the tab key and Press enter, confirm. And here you have option to enable Ubuntu Pro, but for now we're gonna skip it. So hit enter to continue. And you wanna install OpenHH server, you can select that one. If not, click tap and enter to skip it. And we're gonna skip this as well. The installation does take a while, so sit back, relax, and go wrap cup of coffee and come back in a little bit all right so the installation is complete uh, instead of uh, reboot we can uh, shut down the uh, Ubuntu uh, VM so we're gonna force shut down or we can request power down so I'm gonna request power down all right the next step we're gonna do it we're gonna 
clear the ISO so that way it's not booting in that ISO anymore and secondly if you haven't done it or you would like to add a share directory you can do it from here and you can add the new one as well and lastly we're gonna go to um, the settings and from here you have the option to update the icon you can select a custom one as long as the uh, image you can uh, select that custom image or you can select from all the preview icon that come with it there we go right. and you can make some note in here as well uh, such as I don't know your username and password whatnot all right and let's start our VM all right, and now we're gonna log into our system with the username and password we create during installations. And once you log in, you're gonna run the command sudo app update. All right, once you've done that, we're gonna do a sudo app install Ubuntu dash desktop and select uh, Y for yes and enter. All right, and now that the installation uh, complete, so we're gonna select the service that we want to restart, and then you would uh, select enter. And after that, we're gonna reboot the VM using the reboot command. And here we are. We have the desktop GUI. All right, and for this one, we're gonna. Keep the Ubuntu Pro. And now while waiting for the update, I'm gonna show you how to mount the SharePoint. The two ways to doing it, you can do it uh, manually, or you can have it automatically mount every time you uh, rebooting the system. So when you manually uh, mount a SharePoint, it will. Uh, automatically uh, unmail uh, during reboot but uh, you can add that into the MS tab and that will um, permanently mail the uh, folder every time you log into your system so let me uh, show you the menu way to do it so you would run the sudo command and we're gonna mail it actually let me a the uh, new directory first so you when you the cd command new folder we're gonna call it uh, using the make the command so mkdir we're gonna call it share all right and notice it uh, created the new folder share cd share pwd okay i'm gonna go ahead and copy that uh, PWD. Okay, and the command to mail the SharePoint is gonna be a sudo mail dash t p i r t i o f s share. Enter your password. Oh, I'm I misspelled the. There we go. And there we go. You see the share. Oh, yeah, it actually mounted. So next, I'm gonna show you how to permanently uh, add it into the MS tab file. So that's where it automatically mount every time you uh, connect your window. So before you do that, you have to do the repeat the same command. But instead of mount, we're gonna do uh, unmount, and that will unmount the folder. And next, we're gonna edit the fs tab using the nano command. sudo nano splash etc, and then fs tab. All right, and we're gonna add it to the last line. So from my tutorial, you can copy the command. 
So it's going to be a uh, share and then a mount boy. It's going to be a uh, home sysadmin102 splash share. Okay. And then I'm going to copy the last part. Alright, and we're gonna select Control X to sh uh, and then Y and Enter to sh save it. And we're gonna reboot the system for it to take effect. Or you can uh, select the GUI and restart. Alright, and now we're gonna log back in. I'm gonna open up the file. And notice how the share icon. It have a little dish right next to it. It's automatically mail. So that concluded the today tutorial. If you think the video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.